What's going on guys? It's Eric again back with another video. As you can tell back here on the screen on my work computer, which I'm just about done with work. I'm on my last break. I figured I would do just a quick video. Though I always say they're quick videos, but they never really are. Um, the Big Ten kind of says they, they put a statement on the 2020-2021 fall sports season. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to cover football and I don't know what other fall sports. The football is probably the biggest one that people are probably most going to be most concerned about. Um, and it says that they're only going to have conference play uh, through this season. Now, I only say conference play through the uh, the Big Ten Network site uh, because that's really what they're only only here for uh, is for the Big Ten. Now, the Nash the NCAA is probably going to have to come out and kind of say how they're going to deal with the postseason or possibly even preseason schedule. Um, but it looks kind of, kind of what I'm reading here that's on the Big Ten Network's website, which I'll go ahead and put it down in the description if you guys want to go ahead and uh, read that article, is that they're only really concerned about the Big Ten. And I don't know if it's going to go by the divisions, whether uh, the East Division is going to do the East and the West Division is only going to do the West. I did not see that on there. Uh, it looks like it's just conference play only. Uh, at least for the fall sports. Now, for the winter and the spring, could be something different as we get more information, uh, more science and data as kind of we go along throughout this 2020 coronavirus pandemic that has seemed to have kind of encapsulated all the news as of late, at least of this year. To me, I, I kind of take it as, uh, it's. I, I really don't have an opinion on it, to be truly honest. Um, I'm glad that they're going to try and get football in. Uh, it's going to kind of really kind of be how what happens if a team ends up with a player that has the coronavirus and ends up spreading it to other players? Then what is not necessarily only the Big Ten school going to do, but actually what the Big Ten conference itself is going to do? Are they going to suspend it? Are they going to say, you know what, uh, it's probably not a good idea. We're just going to cancel the season, the, the fall season sports schedules, or maybe just maybe that individual sports season could be canceled. Uh, I, I Honestly, I just don't know. So as it says here, and I'm going to read it on here, I don't know how the microphone is going to pick me up kind of going off of here. It says, the decision was made following many thoughtful conversations over several months between the Big Ten Council of Presidents and the chancellors, directors of athletics, conference office staff, and medical experts, including the Big Ten Task Force and the Emerging Infectious Diseases at the Big Ten Sports Medicine Committee. So I guess all those... Uh, committees and subcommittees kind of got together uh, and they said they're going to have the, the season here. And it also says on here that the conference announced that the summer athletic activities will continue to be on a voluntary basis um, and all sports currently permitted to engage in such activities. So I don't know what kind of summer sports are kind of going on here. Uh, maybe it's soccer, I'm guessing, or kind of uh, football, as you guys kind of say it over in Europe. I don't know how many uh, uh, from Europe or any other the other countries or New Zealand, which I put the uh, the rugby on there, or Australian rules football. I don't know if you guys call it football over there, but in America we kind of call it soccer. And it also says on here, and I think this is really really big. It says that Big Ten student athletes who choose not to participate will continue to have their scholarships honored, and that's kind of really big to me. And I think that goes a long way to. Uh, the commitment that the Big Ten has, and maybe, and I don't want to say necessarily an obligation that they have, but they could have very well said, look, we're, we're losing way too much money. You're going to have to find and do it on their own. They went out and they said they're just actually going to honor that, honor those obligations or those promises or kind of whatever, I guess, whatever kind of little phrase you kind of want to put in there. They're going to honor those scholarships. I think that's a real big, a real big thing here. But the big thing, the big takeaway is here, it looks like fall sports are going to happen. Um, especially with college football, uh, American college football, I will put it that way for anyone who's in other countries that uh, kind of go on to my channel here. Um, it looks like that's going to happen. Now, on a personal level and on my own per base personal opinion is, and I kind of stated it earlier in this video, of what happens if uh, a person comes down with COVID-19 and they end up spreading it to their other players uh, that are on the team and end up spend spreading it to the opposing team as well. What's going to kind of happen with that? Now, this doesn't discuss that or anything like that. They're going to kind of go with, we're going to go ahead and kind of play the season. And it only looks like only conference play right now. At least that's kind of how it reads to me is conference play is going to happen. And like I said, the NCAA is going to have to end up kind of how the postseason is going to kind of roll out here. Is it just going to say, 
look, if you guys kind of want to have it, we're only going to have the conferences and the conference champion, and that's it. Or we're going to have an actual playoff kind of going on here, or it's going to go to a vote, or what, whatever kind of consensus they come to for a uh, national champion here. And I kind of use that quote as national champion is, um, I, I honestly don't know if they're even necessarily going to be even doing that even. Um, but yeah, I kind of like what I see. Uh, I like their their press release that they gave out right onto the website uh, with all the coronavirus stuff that is going on and kind of the more and data and more science that comes along with it. And as we kind of progress through this thing, um, it, it's just going to hopefully get better and better as we know more about how this virus spreads, how it um, contracts to different races, ethnicities, um, sexes, all that sort of stuff, how all that comes together. Uh, you guys kind of know my personal opinion on it. I'm not going to kind of go back through and rehash all that stuff. If you guys watch my videos enough, you guys know uh, my feelings on it. Uh, uh, but if, And if you don't, I'll just put it this way. I really don't think we have a whole lot of science and data to back up kind of the claims that we're making uh, at least here in America, I can't necessarily say that for other uh, states or countries uh, of that nature. But I kind of like what I see here, I will admit. I, I think the Big Ten is kind of taking an approach with the Ivy League saying they're going to cancel it. The Big Ten is kind of taken to the other side and say, hey, we're going to go go ahead and play through this. And we're going to go probably on a game-by-game -game basis, team-by-team -team basis is probably what it even is. And even down to the individual level. Uh, to see where all this kind of comes out. Now, it doesn't say really anything about testing. At least that I didn't read. It didn't say anything about how they're going to test players, if they're going to test players every day or every other day, or kind of what that's going to entail. I didn't really see that on there. Um, and I didn't watch any of the uh, a press conference on it. If anyone, if they did, even did have a press conference on it, I didn't see that uh, on the Big Ten. But, yeah, the, the big takeaway is here that they're going to play uh, at least fall sports, so it looks like college football is going to be in here. So your Michigan, Michigan State's, Purdue's, Nebraska's, Ohio State's, Minnesota's, even Rutgers and Maryland's, all that. Indiana, Minnesota, all those ones are, uh, it looks like it's going to come to fruition. So along with that, you're probably going to see more college sports here on my channel. Now that we know, or I know, that the Big Ten is going to actually, and I live in Big Ten country, so Michigan, Michigan State, uh, maybe some other teams that are kind of playing against those two teams. You'll see up here uh, kind of as we go along. I'll admit I got to kind of get myself refreshed on all this stuff because um, I've been out of the sports scene for a little bit because I kind of had a little bit of YouTube burnout and I'm starting to come back into this and uh, hopefully trying to come at it uh, at least maybe with every other day videos. But I'm starting to ramble on here, guys. Let me know what you guys think. If you, I'll, if you guys have seen this, if not, I'll go ahead and put it down in the comments. I'd like to know your guys' comments on it. Do you think it's a good thing? Do you guys think it's a bad thing? Um, do you guys foresee any problems with this? Go ahead and put it down in the comments down below. I interact with pretty much anybody and everybody that comes along in my comments because uh, my subscriber count is pretty low, and I know my demographic is going to be um, pretty low. I'm not going to really have any big subscriber counts or anything like that. I know my demographic, but I try to get to everyone's comments down below. Uh, make sure you also hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification so you guys get more videos just like this one. It's time to get back to work here, guys. I'll see everyone probably back here. Um, I'm guessing it's probably going to be not this next coming week, but the following week. I'm headed up on vacation with me and my father. We're going to go up to the UP because I've never been past uh, St. Ignis up here. And I kind of want to see how, what the UP has to offer and uh, maybe some kind of some stuff, some sightseeing stuff that has to go on here. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces. Take care, guys.